opposition quite uh, comfortably there. Somebody gives a little nudge as he goes past, but he still stays in there. 325 doesn't know. And that big heavy rover, well and truly two rovers in fact, uh, three litre and the older type, 90, jam together. 551 sails by though. Rather nice paint work on that job too. Twenty laps in this King of Crash event, and two of them have gone. There's car number 25, uh, Alan Stern from Chingford in his Daimler. As you can see, quite an assortment. Boxalls, Austins, Morris, one or two Fords. That man has uh, been in trouble. Keith Turner, 625 from Reading, but uh, he's getting himself going back again. 380, meanwhile, parked in, in uh, the safety fence. Dennis White from Southampton. And a cloud of steam as the radiator goes. 551, the leader just gone through. And there he is, looking very sad. Poor old Dennis White. Fifty-eight, meanwhile, has uh, moved through to take it up. 551 has dropped down into second place. It's Frank Gott from Hailing Island in the lead. A couple of back markers sitting just in front of him. Five, 58 the leader then. 551 is second. And car number 168, I think it is, who's third. We'll sort them out in a moment for you. Our leader going around the outside or trying to go around the outside in that uh, bring of blue machine. Just about to take on the uh, number 20 Roger Wilkinson back marker car. Speedway track and loses a bit of ground. Oh, that dame was looking a bit crumpled at the front now. See shot through the front windscreen pillar seems to be somewhat depressed. Oh, and this is the leader being demolished. That's the leader being demolished there by number 100, Dave Melbourne. That's 58. Oh, and the second car, 551, has run straight into him. Helped somewhat by that other one, but uh, that hasn't done either of those any good. 58, Frank got desperately trying to, trying to resume. And in fact, uh, Dave Melbourne, that's the one that did all the damage. He's not in the placings, uh, he's a back marker, but uh, he's obviously decided now he's going to cause as much trouble as he possibly can. 551, uh, I think, is back in the lead because he got going again after that pile-up fairly quickly. I think he's back in there. I think 168 is now second. <laughs> 81 rejoins as the rest of them go through. I thought something had happened there. Not only is the front pillar gone, but the door's gone, the wing's gone, but reverse gear hasn't gone. He's trying to get back into the race. Eight laps gone. One sixty-eight is the leader. A lot of chopping and changing while we've been looking at one or two of the others. Laps ticking away. Nine gone now. Eleven to go. Elbowing his way past 168, and that's happened to the lead. If that other chap doesn't put him out, but the other one will do. Then he bounces off. Oh, what luck! What luck! And 22 is getting his desserts now for daring to get in there and mix it. Morris Vincent poked into the fence in 22. Well, these lads really entering the spirit of the thing. So we've got 272 now. Richard Hart from Bishop Stortford is in the lead. 168 is the man who's chasing him. 272. Oh, what a majestic performance. Meanwhile, he's uh, decided to mix it in there, but uh, elsewhere there's still problems for 272 and 168. 
25 and uh, 20, Roger Wilkinson. Uh, he's finding his share of trouble, although the car isn't looking that battered. There they go, then, the first two cars. 272, Richard Hart from Bishop Stortford and 168, Malcolm Girling from Norwich. into that top bend and uh, rain beginning to come down a little now and that slowed them up a bit and certainly made the surface very greasy. Here's Dick Hart. Car looking relatively undamaged on the, at least on the near side. That offside front wing's a bit dented and the leader, what a beautiful manoeuvre. 168 shot through there, he drifted a little wide and 168 waltzed through. <laughs> the number 100, Dave Melbourne tried to have a go at 272 as he went by but he wasn't quite quick enough to catch him. But he's uh, off in hot pursuit again now. He got uh, himself in trouble early on, I think, and he's now decided just to spend the rest of the race causing as much problem as he possibly can. And our Daimler getting worse and worse and worse. Oh, dear. I think he might have got a puncture. And there's the leader, 168. Disposing of 81, uh, takes a beautiful pirouette, and he takes number 11 out with him as he goes by. And that rover is going well. A bit of steam and a slightly modified front bonnet, but apart from that, it's flying. Built like tanks, very good cars for Banger Racing. Really are strong. Sweeps past the uh, 234 car. He's left the tangle with him. Let's have a look at the lap. 16 gone now, four more to go. Remains of the Daimler, dragging itself through. That's 58 just going through. He was an early leader and got himself in trouble. Meanwhile, the uh, big rover coupe. 68. Just nudges his way past. Oh, and that's... What a controlled drift! 1-1-1, one, 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 Ron Ward from Yakely. Lovely stuff. Three more laps to go. Six dates to lead us, still 272 there. Here they come. Oh! Number 22, the mugger, got well and truly mugged by number 100, Dave Melbourne. And that's what's left. 272, second place man just going through. This is the leader. Two more laps to go. Second place man, 272. And the leader on his last lap now. Comfortably there. Little bounce off the speedway track. Coming around the final turn. Checkered flag at the ready. Whoops. A little bit of corner cutting past the baton remains of that lane and a wave. And that's 168. Taking himself over the line. Malcolm Girling, there's the second man, 272. Richard Hart from Bishop Stortford. And the third man home will be car number 58, Frank Gott.